Hi there, this is Bhanu from Stuffyuric Blog and I am here again with a video tutorial for Useed and this time I am going to discuss about the time management that uh, you have, you can uh, think of doing in during Seed exam, Useed exam. So, um, like I promised in my previous video, so basically before the, before entering into the topic, let me explain the, you know, um, the sections that is basically broadly divided in your Useed. So basically they split the usage part into three sections as you know. Section A consists of numerical aptitude test and NAT, NAT. And section B consists of uh, multiple selection co questions where you have to select multiple questions for a single question, multiple answers for a multiple choices for a single question. And section C comprises of multiple choice question, MCQ. So where you have to select only one question. So for the NAT part, so you have assigned four marks and uh, so I think this time they will be opposing you 20 questions in NAT part. And the second section, section B, is MSQ, multiple selection questions. So, which will comprise of four marks again with no negatives, just like NAT and NAT. So, but uh, again, I think uh, they will be asking you 25 marks in this section. Uh, unlike the previous year, they, where they asked some 30 questions, I hope. And the last section is MCQ, multiple choice question, where you have to uh, select only one question out of the given choices. Um, and um, I think this time they will be asking only 40 questions if I am not wrong. So this is what I am expecting, 40 questions from MCQ and 25 from MSQ and uh, section A, 20 questions from NAT. So overall covering 300 marks, so covering 85 questions overall. So you have to split your time accordingly, like uh, you have to spend the three hours of your time accordingly uh, by, you know, setting time for each section. So what I suppose is for every question, you can spend uh, a minimum of 1.5 to 2 minutes, uh, 1.5 minutes. So and uh, like questions like, um, you know, general awareness and aptitude, not aptitude, general awareness questions will be uh, more easily that uh, you can once you go through it you can answer so there you have the advantage of saving time but other questions like aptitude paragraph questions will consume time so for which you can consider as uh, two marks uh, i mean two minutes um, you know limit for the for for that questions so overall it's like 1.5 or two minutes for every questions and you know you don't have to check every time on uh, whether you are spending two minutes or not you just proceed with the examination and um, you know set the timing uh, carefully so coming to how you are answering the questions so basically you start with the nat part numerical aptitude part uh, numerical aptitude test part because see uh, that uh, in NAT as well as MSQ doesn't have any negative marking compared to as uh, as you can see with MCQ which has negative marking. So what I suppose is like uh, you don't start with negative marking question or MSQ question because uh, first thing is when you enter into the you know you see it hall you will be a bit uh, you know nervous like uh, uh, a bit feared. So if you start with MSQ multiple selections so uh, you'll be wondering which options are good like that for every question even if you are uh, you know pretty sure then also you will be wondering which question so you might be spending more time on that msq so uh, so i don't want the initial part to be like more nervous as well as more uh, you know time consuming so better start with nat so that it will be straightforward like yes or no you either know the answer or doesn't know okay so you just attempt you try it and if you get the answer, just go ahead, partially, you know, attempt that, uh, answer that. So like that, you try to cover the NAT part in the beginning. And um, yeah, fortunately, it doesn't have any negative marking. And uh, after covering the NAT part, you can come to MSQ rather than MCQ. MSQ means uh, multiple selection questions. Um, because, uh, yeah, sorry, MCQ. So second, you can come to MCQ rather than MSQ because... Uh, um, like I said, MSQ might, con might time, uh, take time, more time. So you come to the second uh, MCQ part. So by then you must have cleared 20 questions or at least gone through 20 questions or answered at least 10 questions. So you must have gained some confidence of answering them. So your past two level might have grown a um, bit high. So it's now time to go to multiple selection 
multiple choice questions so in this section be careful mind the negative markings and don't uh, you know rush yourself don't go uh, don't be in a urgency so take time think about the question and uh, see all the questions might be you know very easy not like uh, too much of complication or something like that so uh, you can just give a uh, little thinking and uh, you know can easily answer them so yeah second second one will be mcq and uh, mind the negative uh, negatives and uh, answer only if you know if you don't know just uh, leave uh, leave them aside so that you can come back and check or you can skip uh, no problem so you don't have to answer all the questions it's not mandatory because you cannot expect 100 out of 100 in this exams so best thing is you have to avoid as many negatives as possible if you are giving more negatives then you are out so be careful with that and uh, finally you can come to msq part so you can decide how much time is left over so how much time with that how many questions you can spare because the msq will see uh, most will be like paragraph and uh, you know reasoning time questions which consumes like like uh, you need to ponder on question you need to think about question go through them several times so that you have to understand so it takes time so finally at the end you to you decide how much time is left and based on that you cater for you know time for each question so that's how i think it's better for you if you proceed like first nat uh, cover the nat 20 question 20 marks uh, 20 questions whatever it is and then mcq and then msq so and uh, yeah some people said that uh, um, i will read the question and if it's not uh, uh, related to me or if i am not uh, uh, if I don't feel like easy, then I will skip and go to the next question like that some people were saying. Actually, well, um, it's not a good idea because, um, see, some questions are very lengthy. Like, you cannot spend, uh, uh, you cannot go through the same question several times, twice, even twice. So, if you think like, uh, let's say, I will take MSQ first, I will read the question. If I feel difficulty, then I will skip and go to the next question and go. And at the end, I will come back and uh, I will check again the questions. Then it's not a good idea because uh, 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 you will be wasting time reading the same question on time gaps again and again. So which, uh, uh, you can spend uh, at the same on the same time earlier. So don't uh, you know? Don't be in that mood of uh, coming again and uh, you know reading the questions. So attempt at the same time. Like um, take the question, read it. And try to solve at it at the same time. And if you were not able confident, just leave a gap. And at the at the end, make sure that you uh, at least save 10 minutes of your time to recheck your answers, especially the MCQ negative marking type, uh, because it's mandatory. Because you need to avoid the negative marking. So at, at the last like 10-15 minutes for a, a recheck of your uh, you know answered questions, especially MCQ. And if some time is left, then come back to MSQ and then check the leftover things. So that's it. So I think uh, this is fine with it. So NAT, um, MCQ and MSQ and 1.5, two, two minutes per question or whatever, however you choose. Because GA, like I said, GA questions might not be consuming more time. So that's it. I think um, we are done with this year. And I think you are ready, uh, preparing well. So make sure that you are covering the priority list that I mentioned last uh, time. And um, yeah, that's it. All the best. And uh, I hope you'll be doing well. And uh, you are preparing to the fullest on the last two days. So good luck. Bye then. See you.